Bonjour. Good morning, students. I hope you are all well. Ok? So, nous allons commencer la traduction de la leçon numéro 5. Open your book page 50. So, what is 50 in French? 50. Ok? We saw the number names, isn't it? Ok? So, page part 50. So, nous allons voir un texte. So, we are going to see a paragraph about Christmas. Ok? So, the lesson is Say Noel. It's Christmas. Ok? So, everyone likes this festival, isn't it? So, we are going to distribute gifts between us. Ok? So, we are going to read this passage. So, I wrote this passage on the board. We are going to read. First, I am going to read in French. Then, I am going to explain you the hard words and the meaning in English. Ok? So, let me go into the passage. Say Noel. Aujourd'hui. So, you are going to read with me silently. Ok? So, when I am going to start, you are going to read with me in French. Ok? So, I will listen to the translation also. Aujourd'hui, c'est le 25 décembre. C'est Noël et la famille de Manuel fait le Noël dans la maison. Ils font un bonhomme de neige. Ils décorent le sapin avec des ampoules et des guirlandes électriques. Le père de Manuel range les cadeaux près du sapin. Il achète toujours de beaux cadeaux pour la famille. Ok, so I'm going to explain you this passage first. Ok, otherwise it will be long for you to record. Ok, so, aujourd'hui means what? Today. Ok, aujourd'hui means today. C'est le 25 décembre. It's the 25th December. So, what is on the 25th December? It's Christmas. Ok, so, we are, we are going to celebrate Christmas. C'est Noël et la famille de Manuel fait le Noël dans la maison. So, in France, we cannot celebrate Christmas outside because it is winter time. Snow will be there, isn't it? So, there we can go for mass. There also they are going for mass. Okay, so to the church. Okay, so here they are celebrating Christmas inside their house, in Manuel's house. Okay, so the family, the family of Manuel are celebrating Christmas in the house. Il faut un bonhomme de neige. So what is bonhomme de neige? Do you know what is bonhomme de neige? It's a snowman. Okay, so they are going to do that. Snowman. You can see the picture in this uh, winter season. We saw the season also. So this is called a bonhomme de neige. Okay. So that is a snowman. Okay. Il décor le sapin avec des ampoules et des guirlandes électriques. So with what we are decorating the Christmas tree? Sapin means Christmas tree. So this is called Christmas tree and sapin. Okay, you can see in your book also. You turn the page. So in this page you will have the Christmas tree. Okay, this is called a sapin. What is that? A sapin. Okay. So it is decorated with lots of color papers. Okay. And color lights. Electrical lights. Okay. It will get beautiful for you to see. Le père de Manuel range les cadeaux. Près du sapin. Okay. So the father of Manuel is arranging the gift near the Christmas tree. Okay, so in, at home you will have a Christmas tree. So we are going to put the gift around that. Okay, so next one. Le père de Manuel mange les cadeaux près du sapin. Il achète toujours de beaux cadeaux pour la famille. So he always buys beautiful gifts 
for the family so we are going to distribute our gift to each other okay in our with our family members okay so that is christmas okay so next paragraph he says for the or say he that a in commas are nege mais dans la maison il ne fait pas foi grâce au chauffeur central les grands parents et les cousins de Manuel sont là l'oncle et la tante de Manuel habitent en Australie et arrivent aujourd'hui en Australie c'est l'été en décembre et il fait chaud la famille de Manuel prend le réveillon après la messe okay so we are going to see the second paragraph what is the meaning of this il fait froid dehors it is cold dehors means outside okay so il fait froid dehors outside it is very cold say he there it is winter time okay we saw the season also so say he there et il commence à neiger and it started to snow à neiger okay so neiger is not a verb it's an expression in personal expression to snow like it rains okay so raining snowing it's not they are not verb to conjugate okay so don't confuse that it is be a verb so it is a verb that is an expression to snow but in the house but inside the house they don't la maison in the fait pas foi so inside the house you you know the houses which are in france so it will not be cold inside because they will have the chimney okay or a heater so to get cold inside to get hot inside the house okay so that is because of the chauffeur son car so they will have a heater inside the house not to get cold les grands parents de Manuel so les grands parents et les cousins de Manuel sont là so the grandparents and the cousins of Manuel are there okay so they are all together okay to celebrate christmas l'oncle et la tante de Manuel habitent en Australie so the uncle and the auntie of Manuel are in Australia Australia means Australia so they live in Australia ils arrivent aujourd'hui so they are coming today to our house to Manuel's house to celebrate christmas okay so they are coming today en Australie c'est l'été so you can see the different of the season between the countries okay so here it is winter in france so there it is summer okay so in australia it is summer on the on the sun so it is summer in december il fait chaud so it is very hot during summer it is very hot the family of manuel prend le réveillon so you know what is réveillon you don't know okay so those who are question you can know it what is réveillon réveillon it's a small get together after the church okay so they will have a mass in the church and after returning back home they will have a small get together and they are going to distribute the gift okay so that is called that time which we are having a small snacks or distribute the gift okay so that is called le réveillon après la messe they will have the they will take the réveillon after the mass okay mass that is the thing that we are going for mass in the church okay it is a prayer that we are going to the church okay so that is called la messe okay i hope it is clear with the translation yes so you are going to read again in french with me and then go with the portion la bonne course aujourd'hui c'est le 25 décembre c'est noël et la famille de Manuel fait 
le Noël dans la maison. Ils font un bonhomme de neige. Il décore le sapin avec des ampoules et des guirlandes électriques. Le père de Manuel range les cadeaux près du sapin. Il achète toujours de beaux cadeaux pour la famille. Il fait froid dehors. C'est l'hiver et il commence à neiger. Mais dans la maison, il ne fait pas froid grâce au chauffage central. Les grands-parents et les cousins de Manuel sont là. L'oncle et la tante de Manuel habitent en Australie. Ils arrivent aujourd'hui. En Australie, c'est l'été en décembre. Et il, ne, il fait chaud. La famille de Manuel prend le réveillon après la messe. So you can underline the hard words. So what are the hard words? Bonhomme de neige. Okay, so bonhomme de neige is snowman. En pool, lighting. Guirland, color, electrical lights. Okay. Next one, cadeau. So that a gift. Neige, that is snow. Chauffage central, so that is Heater. Ok, so vous avez le chauffage central et après, en Australie, Australia, you know that, and le réveillon. So, I explain you what is the réveillon. Ok, so that is over for this passage translation. So, we are going to see, you can turn the page, you have in the same page, ok, so you have that, tick the right answer. In this page, you have Cocher la bonne réponse. So, we are going to do this together. Okay? So, you have to understand the passage. Then, we are going to click the right answer for each question. So, Cocher la bonne réponse. That is, click the right answer. La famille de Manuel fait. So, what they are celebrating? The New Year, the Christmas or the birthday of Manuel. What will be the right answer? B. Le Noël. So you are going to tick the right answer. Okay? So next one. La famille achète des cadeaux, achète une maison, achète une voiture. So what the family is doing? They are buying gift, house or car. They are buying gift, des cadeaux. Next one. En Australie, en décembre. So, in Australia, in December, il fait froid, il fait chaud, il neige et il pleut. So, it is cold, it is hot, or it snows, or it rains. So, what will be the right answer? Il fait chaud. So, it is hot. Okay? So, next we are going to go with dit vrai ou faux. So, vrai means true or false. So, la famille de Manuel décore le sapin avec des cadeaux. So, the family, the Manuel family are decorating the Christmas tree with gift. Yes. So, we are going to write vrai because they are arranging the Christmas tree with gift. Vrai. Okay, so ils ont mis le cadeau autour du sapin. They are arranging the gift near the Christmas tree. Okay, so if you understand this question with they are decorating the Christmas tree with on pool and they are wrong with the right wrong. But here we also saw that they are arranging the gift near the Christmas tree. Okay, so up to you what you understand, you can write true or false, both are right. Okay, so next one. Il fait chaud dans la maison. It is hot inside their house. That is true or false? Yes, because of the heater. So, great. So, you are going to write great. So, next question. La mère range les cadeaux. 
So the mother arranges the gifts. No. So the father only is doing that. Okay. So that is four. Next one. La famille mange après la messe. So they are eating after the mass. Yes. So they are having the réveillon. So that is bread. Okay. So we are over with this. Cochez la bonne réponse. True or false. Okay. So maintenant nous allons avoir question et les réponses. We have two questions regarding this passage. So what does that mean? Que fait la famille de Manuel? So what the festival is celebrated with the Manuel family? So what they are celebrating? So in fact, le Noël. So la famille de Manuel fait le Noël. So that's it that you are going to write. What they are celebrating. Okay? So, qu'est-ce qu'il fait? La famille de Manuel fait le Noël. So, next question. Qui arrive aujourd'hui? So, what is qui? Qui means who. Okay? Qui means who in English. So, who is coming today and from where? Who means from where? Okay? So, who are arriving today? So, the uncle and auntie of Manuel are coming today. So, qui arrive? L'oncle et la tante de Manuel arrive aujourd'hui d'Australie. So they are coming from Australia. Okay? C'est tout. So that's it for this question and answer. Okay? So you are going to copy all these things in your classwork notebook. Okay? So next week, this is over for this lesson. We saw the translation. Pick the right answer. Question answer. True or false. And we saw the season, the four season which are in the year. Okay, le printemps, l'été, l'automne, l'hiver. And we saw also les verbes en er. Okay, and we saw an expression to do or to make with the action verbs. Okay, so le verbe faire. So you are going to read again the le verbe faire. And we saw the negative form. The expression of exceptions of negative forms, okay, with the active and the fini. So, what are the changes you should do? Okay, so here you have a small vocabulary word starter color, and you are going to do all the exercise again, revise all the exercise. That's it for this. And next, uh, next page you have the pictures that I gave you last PDF, isn't it? So, did you wrote all the actions, what they are doing, okay, with the verb fair, okay. So, we have conjugated the verbs and that's it for this lesson number 5. So, revise when this whole lesson and do when you are given assignment. Merci.